This was an absolutely incredible day while filming for communion. And right there, that fish came out of nowhere and chose violence. Oh, goodness, dude. This one's a big one. Damn, this is super shallow. Fuck. That's why they're not sitting in here just yet. So we're a couple days in filming for communion. Luke Brasher's in the back of the boat. We've already been fishing for an hour or two. Never know though. It's glass calm. I feel like they're gonna be tucked up underneath these lay down toolies. It's not looking too promising. Just using a tried and true method for this time of year, this type of cover, and see if I can pull some fish out and convince them to eat. Once this camera pushes in, you're gonna see a fish that comes up, swipes it, misses, and then she's gonna come back again for it. Oh my God. You notice, I'm not doing any movements when they move. I'm not jumping around on the boat. I'm not yelling at it. I don't jerk. I stay in the exact same position. She's a decent one. Come on, come on out of there. Come out of there. Come out of there. Jeez Louise. Power pole to everything. Come on, girl. Coming up. Oh. Oh, boom. That's a nice one. Real pretty fish. Not a, not a thick one, not a giant one, but a nice, decent quality fish for this time of year on the 10 inch bait, 10 inch tyrant right there. On that bottom treble hook rig. That was such a fight though. <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> Power poles. Oh god, no, 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 no. Seven pounds, four ounces. Do a little measurement, weigh her, and get to the release. Don't need to drag her around for that long. That's what I like to see, baby. At this point though, Jimmy Wynn met up with us. He was gonna be the follow cam boat and the ultimate sidekick, King, his little Pomeranian, so we can get some of the angles outside of the boat. Of course, SoCal, wouldn't be SoCal without giant forest fires in the background. Makes for some cool, cool visuals at least. Off to another spot, hoping that some fish had pulled in here. Just slowly creeping in on them, setting up. You try and be as quiet as you can, but those poles, if you hit some rocks, damn, they're loud. Make a nice cast exactly how you need it to. Get that line to lay down how I want it. Slowly work the bait up. Right here, your heart is just racing. If you, if you're that first time in, you're wondering, are there fish in there? Are there fish sitting under in that shade? You can feel that adrenaline pumping because you just, it just, you can feel it. Look at that! Saw a fish chasing it, took it away, came out, boom to eat it, ah, and ah, dumped it. 
<sighs> Motherfucker. It happens. Can't win them all. You can't win them all. It's a bummer, but I, had, I just had a feeling that there was more fish under there. Just the way it was setting up, the way that wind's kind of pulling in around, creating this little eddy right there. It's the shade, the direction of the sunlight, just it felt right. So I just fire out there, next cast. Drag that line how I want to put that rod tip in the water to get the line to go underneath those toolies and then I reposition the line by swinging that rod tip over so that when the bait's coming in, the slack gets pulled out of the line and comes straight underneath those toolies. So you can see I'm still doing that right there, trying to make sure that that line is coming exactly where I want the bait to come. Get a little pause, slow retrieve once I establish, like, okay, this is, I'm on the line I want to be on. Luke's trying to do the best job he can being at distance and wow what an absolute explosion she threw water oh, damn near 15 feet in the air right there oh that is probably the wildest oh, top water explosion dude. i've ever had it was just incredible this one's a big and one damn she was dogging me so hard right there i'm yelling about it because my wrist was bunk she knew, last minute, she knew. Oh, I'm not going there. She doesn't want in there. Oh yeah, fuck. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Anyway, she lost that battle though. She ended up in the net and I was pumped. Yeah, you need to come over. Dude. Come on. Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Damn, I love it. Love these type of fish. Look at that fucking girl, dude. Oh my goodness, what a monster. Got that triple belly, big old framed fish. And the craziest part about it is like, she looks fat, but her belly actually wasn't that stuffed. She's a big old fish, but she actually could have been a lot heavier. <gasps> Don't want to keep her out of the water too long. So I'm going to get her in the live well and let her rest for a little bit while we kind of celebrate, you know, all that good stuff. That's not a double digit, I quit fishing. Just, just living in the moment, enjoying it. Woo! That was insane. Go, dude. I got all Sick. that. Got you all see, that, I, got I all dumped that the first feet. one, which was a lot smaller than that fish. Yeah. I was Feeling like, an I absolute know. sense of relief because there's a lot of pressure when you got other dudes out there just watching you fish. And I signed up for it, so it is what it is. Uh, just. An immense sense of relief right there just like whew okay we got a good one on film that's a big fish dude jimmy over there he had cooked us some lunch he was ready to go you could see how he's pulling in he had three little bowls of some noodles and some sausage and all that's jimmy's one of the best on the water he's so hospitable so helpful just overall good dude on the water like two or three kind of like smaller ones just kind of eyeing it and that's why i just gave it a rip away from him and it goes whoop and it shoots right up yeah and they kind of twitched around and I was just pausing and then she just came out of fucking nowhere and just Man, I was like, holy shit. I was so thankful so, that it hooked her, but did you see how hard she was yeah. driving? That's like That's close quarter were, combat right there. Yeah. Yeah, the <laughs> oh God, oh God. <laughs> where you were bending, like having it, yeah. like, yeah, it was like, holy shit. She went all the way underneath the boat. Yeah. I was worried like she's gonna go into the poles and shit like that. Yeah. 
She ain't dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like. And the live well, just man. She was a, a solid, solid specimen right there. Just dark, mean looking. Oh yeah, 11-11, right there. That's what they look like. But like I always say, you don't want to overhandle these fish. Like, do your thing, take your photos, but let them breathe. After that fish, we moved out, went and fished around a few more spots, but nothing was panning out, so we came around back to the same spot. Like I said before, I think there was more fish sitting in there, so I was going to really give it a go and try and set up and make that exact same cast. And I'll do that until I stop getting bit. Even though the lighting has changed a bit, it's still casting that shadow up underneath those toolies. The wind's still in the same direction, just a gentle little breeze. And I'm making sure my line is exactly where I want it. And that's why you see me changing the angle right there, dragging that line. Because it's fluorocarbon, it wants to sink. So I'm pulling it taut right there and going, okay, boom, I'm, I'm lined up where I need to be. I know those fish are going to eat right on the tip of those toolies. And then it's just a matter of patience and cadence, knowing how to trigger that bite. Must have felt a little bite right there for a second. A little nibble. A little pause. And that's where that fish ate. again it's a it's a decent one again I think it was the second biggest fish of the day I can't remember the weight offhand but I think it was bigger than the first fish of the day so far it's shaping out to be a great day on the water I don't like releasing fish if you're gonna keep fishing the spot. So I throw her in the penalty box for a little bit and I go right back at it. This is next cast. Try and stay as quiet as possible while all this is going down. Not to disturb the fish, even though you just made an absolute ruckus with all the splashing, net banging on the side of the boat. Trying to make sure that you have the least amount of presence as possible. These fish were absolutely stacked up in here that day. My timing that day was just right. Right place, right time, right retrieve. Just everything aligned perfectly.
And this one's not a giant one, but it's a, it's a quality fish that most anglers would be extremely happy with. I was happy with it, but it wasn't as big as the previous fish I had been catching off the spot. Do you want to do like a, like a drone shot of me casting and doing that whole process while we're here? And this is where my production brain kind of kicks in and yeah. I'm thinking we've already checked so many boxes for the day. We got big fish, we got several other quality, quality fish. We got plenty of shots from outside the boat that can all work in splicing together a compelling edit. But what we really need as well is we need a drone shot where all the lighting's the same, the clothes are the same. So let's get that drone up there and see if we can make it happen. Oh, fuck. The wind's not blowing now, so we didn't grab the line. There we go. And I know the way that this is setting up and it looks, kind of going against everything I always preach. I'm yelling, I'm stomping around on the boat. You can clearly hear it in the footage, kind of making a big deal of things just to get the shot. But at this point, I kind of thought it was already done. I probably wouldn't catch another fish off it. I think I'd already made several casts in between this. So I was just more or less going through the motions. But if you look in the upper corner of the screen, you can see the bait is tracking right underneath those toolies right there in the corner. It's gonna go under. And despite all of that, I'm still gonna get bit. Definitely wasn't the biggest fish of the day and maybe all that stomping around and the drone flying and then the hollering all had something to do with that. But regardless, we accomplished what we wanted to do. We got the drone shot, we got outside the boat shots, all going towards making a compelling edit that tells a story. And that's what the goal is with projects like Communion, videos like Communion. And then we can follow up and get the full breakdown like you see in this video of like how it actually all plays out. At this point, the spot is done. I caught that fish, thrown it in the box, made a few more casts, and that's when I said, okay, we're done here. It's time to move on. 